How are you guys doing today? We're going to cover five more matches that you could be running in Season of Strife with different mastery skills. And to put the elephant in the room, I did make a little mistake in the first video. So thank you for calling me out because it was a long, long day, as you can imagine. And I did put one hero in there or one matchup, which doesn't really work. And I'll explain that now. So it will pop up on screen, just the explanation, but you can't have, for example, two skills in the same match. Meaning if you've got Nico's Greymar's Warhammer on say a hero, like just say Magrat, you couldn't put that skill or that Magrat with Nico. In the match, it's only gonna apply one of the passives. It won't duplicate, so you can double up on that just to keep you guys aware so that is an error my mistake i don't know why i didn't did do that but it is what it is so today hopefully we've got five matches here we've got a spicy match as well at the end and as we've done in the format you can see all the mastery skills in the very top corner that i'm going to be using in today's video as well as optional ones right so free optional ones so if i do make an error or if you guys really want to try something else out you're going to be able to do that so the first match we're going to be talking about is going to be Cavalry. It's going to be Theodore and Bakshi. And I'm trying to get these guys to actually get a little bit of loving for Cav players. And you can see I've got three skills here. So the way I've kind of put this is the Light of Solan. This is going to be the first mastery skill. And you're going to be replacing Theodore's, obviously, garrison skill, what he has, or the garrison rally skill he has. So you can get rid of that skill. We don't need that at all. Put it in a trash can and put Light of Solan. So this match is now generating even more rage and accumulation speed, which is kind of nice. And then on the back share, obviously he's got some really good kind of kit already. So what we need to do is get rid of the Darkling Peacekeeping skill again on his skill too. And what I'm going to suggest is picking either Rejuvenating Blessing or even Oracle's Grace. One or the other is really fine. That's why I put both of them on there. And you're going to be able to just basically get some good stats. You're going to get some either attack, and hero skill damage reduction, or you get a bunch of HP and maximum legion cap. So really good for actually cavalry. So why not try the first one out with those three? So now we're gonna go into the second one. Second one is gonna be your Bertrand and Toha. So this one is both gonna be on Toha. So you can see Icy Introduction and Oracle's Grace. So what you're gonna be able to do again, replace that garrison skill so the skill two on your toha and i would personally put icy interdiction on this this is going to allow the march to put magic defense reduction as well as march speed on the target allowing that toha to deal that damage even easier since obviously it's all about dealing normal attacks to get his damage out there and obviously even with the bertrand it makes him deal even more damage and can securely hit the target so i really do like this you don't need to touch um, your bertrand it's going to be all on your toha and for those guys that keep asking in the comment section below yes this will work if your toha or any hero in the game has a secondary so if they're the deputy hero if they've got any of their skills equipped they are gonna work so just before you start swamping me again with that question yes this will work if toha is deputy or primary it's going to work for you guys. So replace his garrison skill with one of these two. And it's going to be a really nice little match made in heaven. So now going on to the very third match. And this is going to be one of my favorites. Another mage one. But it's going to be Lilia and Indus. Oh yeah baby. Grandma is here. As well as the fire mage. That is obviously the best current AoE mage to do damage with in Call of Dragons. And this is a no-brainer. If you want to actually see your Lily do some insane stuff, put Light of Soul Land on her, get rid of the peacekeeping damage, and you'll thank me later. You can see how noticeably of an improvement you get just from using her, even against Darklings, and how good the trades are. It's kind of crazy to see this. But then with Indus, Indus is a really good hero with the new Infirm and damage on her kit as well as the skill 3 and skill 4 being really good for players. But obviously we've got the gathering talent. We don't need that gathering skill on skill 2, so we can remove that. And same thing kind of with our other heroes here. We can put Icy into Diction on Indus to allow her to do the same thing, so she can re remove the march speed and do that magic defense reduction by 20%, making your Lilia hit even harder. 
Or you could just do something simple like Frostbite. So Frostbite is just going to grant this match 15% even more passive skill damage, which is really good because you're going to get 15% from them. And then the passion or synergy is going to gain, which is a keyword that's going to give you a bonus on top, which is really, really powerful. So it's up to you if you want to run Ice Interdiction or Frostbite in this match, but you're able to do so. And again, if you look down on the optionals, if you weren't lucky and you're able to get Watcher's Blade, Wield Shield, or even Winged Embrace, you can put that on any of these matches too when you're thinking of, oh, maybe I don't like that, or I'm using that on a different hero. So match four, coming near the end of the video, I know it's going to be a nice and quick one. I don't want to waste any time of your guys' valuable time when it comes to Call of Dragons anymore. Kanara and Syndra. And this is one of my favorite matches. One of the things I pioneered, and a lot of you guys actually love Kanara Syndra because it kind of, you know, brings in the best damage dealer, which is Syndra at the time as a single target DPS, with this really good damage reduction and tanky based archer hero, which was your Kanara. And the cool thing is with this match, you can take it that one step further because obviously a Kanara is doing really good things and loves counter attack damage. And what you're able to do, get rid of Syndrion's skill too, because we don't need that rally skill at all. And guess what? Grey Mars Ballista is going to be on this match. It's going to allow you to do 20% more normal attack, which is great for both heroes because they're archers and especially for Syndrion when he gets that rapid fire going. But you gain 20% counter attack damage, guys, which is kind of nuts on the Syndrome to boost up the physical counter attack damage bonus you already got from Kanara. So I actually think this is going to be a really popular match. People are going to really enjoy trying this out on the Season of Stripes and give it a go. And if you don't want to use Grey Mars Ballista here and you've got somewhere else that you want to try and use it, like a Magrat Zeta for hypothetical reasons, Green Boat Master, Green Boat Master, or even Winged Brace again from the optional menu. Really good alternatives here because you're just getting raw stats on the match, making you even stronger or tankier, depending on which one you go down, right? So, match five, we're on match five. And if you're wondering, this is number five on the list. And uh, we're going to do the Spicer match. Uh, these so far, it's kind of like four matches everyone has kind of some understanding on and kind of knows what's going on. But Spicy match five, boys, is something you guys ain't going to be imagining because I am going to do something that a lot of people are going to get shocked by. I am going to try and transform one hero from a unit type into another unit type you heard me right and i only have to do that with one skill which is kind of cracked so this is going to be nico and your madeline so if you didn't know this madeline's actual skills across the board grants them legion based skills so even for archers this is a really cool build because this is almost like a husk canara 2.0 because what you're going to be doing is removing obviously the skill free if you choose to on the madeline you will lose 15 percent counter attack damage for this archer march which is obviously nice since the nico grants you 20 percent however you're able to put on three of one of the best different types of you know just stats to this match so you're able to give it green boots master or oracle's grace or even provocation which is giving you normal attack damage and hero skill and damage taken reduction which is really good with this match and you'll be very surprised how madeline acts almost like a hosk 2.0 with this match with your nico and it's always trying to do some nice single target dps still but it punishes you for dealing damage to it especially with the shield it takes some really good trades between turns it's actually going to surprise a lot of people and i'm going to see some people try this out and give me some criticisms as well as praise for how fun this match is and that's why it's the spicy match right so if you've enjoyed this video Smash like, comment, and subscribe. And guess what's happening, boys? The next video, because I've already recorded it just for you guys to follow up on this video, is going to be five more marches, but only flying marches. So if you want to run flying cavalry, flying archers, 
or flying, you know, uh, celestials, you can choose because with this video that I'm coming out in the next couple of days again, five flying legions are going to be on the roll and what you're able to do with these mastery skills. So hope you guys have enjoyed the video. Smash like, comment and subscribe. Until the next one, stay safe, stay sneaky. Peace out.